Welcome back to the Salem Show from our Washington County Community Foundation studios at Salem High School. I'm your host, Nick Ingram. And I'm your other host, Adam Mole. Welcome back to the latest and greatest episode of the Salem Show. That's right. We're back and greater than ever. So, what's going on this week? The school board just passed an estimated $2 million turf and press box package. Attention seniors, the senior quotes are due by February 2nd. If you haven't already filled one out, make sure to put your name on it. Remember, students interested in Prosser, get your letters of recommendation in to Ms. Martin and Ms. Mahirin as soon as possible. Attention juniors, sign up sheets to work concessions for the first two boys basketball games for February 26th are posted on Ms. Elgin's door. Sign up now and get discounted prom tickets. Anyone who works three or more games will receive a free prom ticket. JAG is setting up a donation box for the rest of the month. Items such as blankets, non-slip slash fuzzy socks, pajamas, etc. will be donated to the Salem Crossing. All donations need to be collected by January 31st. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Kreitzer or Angelina Overberg. Attention juniors, would you like to spend a week at Trine University with other juniors from around the state? Hoosier Boys and Girls State Programs are now accepting applications. This is a free program and students learn about citizenship and compete for scholarships. You may be selected to represent Indiana in Washington, D.C. on behalf of the American Legion. See Ms. Martin if you have, are interested. Are you looking for a cool, fun sport to play? Interested in a sport to provide the ultimate conditioning for wrestling or basketball next season? The boys' soccer team will be holding a meeting on Thursday morning for anyone interested in playing soccer next year. No experience is needed. Anyone is welcome to join. Plus, there will be donuts. Now let's toss it over to Logan for the weather. Logan, are we still going to need our umbrellas? Thanks, Adam and Nick. You will still need your umbrellas for this weekend, but then that wet weather will be moving out. So let's go into the special sectional week weather. For Friday, a high is 49 and a low of 41 with a basketball game, and it's going to be partly cloudy. And for Saturday, high is going to be 46 with a low of 37, and it's going to be 88% chance of rain. Then for Sunday, it's going to be a high of 40, low of 33, with a.m. rain and a tad bit of snow. And for Monday, the high is 41, low of 30, mostly cloudy, and it's going to be a puzzle day. Then Tuesday, high of 46, low of 34, and partly cloudy that day. Wednesday, of 48, low of 34, partly cloudy again, and it's going to be a backwards day at Salem High School. Thursday, high of 56, low of 39, mostly cloudy. And Friday, high of 57, low of 44, partly cloudy, and it's going to be a basketball game, sectionals. Now let's take a second for a short commercial break, then head over to Community News with Elaine. How do I set up a fund? Setting up a fund is surprisingly easy. We will meet with you to determine what you want your fund to accomplish. Once you decide that, the rest is simple. Whether you want to support your favorite charity or our community in general, we can help you make that happen. You decide what you want to name the fund. You can name it after yourself or a loved one, you can name it after the charity, you can name it whatever you want. And the best part is, your gift will keep giving forever. Thanks, I guess, Logan, for that weather report. This week for Community News, we'd like to bring you yet another installment of the State of Salem. Mayor Justin Green talks about construction on the West Corridor. Hi Salem, hi students. I want to come to you again today and talk about a few things. And now we're past the Christmas season and we're on with business and starting uh, the year off right. So uh, as we move forward, uh, some updates, if you will, with the Main Street project. Uh, some of our crews took the holiday season off and are now regrouping. And so just to let you know, our North Main corridor uh, will get the westbound treatment now. Uh, some exciting things on the east side uh, happened over the last uh, six weeks or so. And so now you're going to see that uh, project unfold on the west side of the road and really have a welcoming corridor uh, unfold in the next few weeks. Uh, it's really going to look nice. Looking forward to that project uh, really sh taking shape and seeing what it's going to be between our stoplight and our downtown square. Uh, it's going to be a, a great addition. Uh, certainly the landscaping, uh, the curb and gutter, the sidewalk improvements. Uh, it's really going to make a nice entrance into our uh, downtown community. So. Uh, be patient again, please, I ask of that, 
but the uh, final product, as I know, will be uh, very rewarding and I think everybody will enjoy. So stay tuned for some uh, more updates on that to come. Thank you. Thanks again, Mayor Green, for the State of Salem message. And one final thing before we go to commercial and then over to Maggie for the Hoosier Upland Sports Minute. Yearbook prices are going up in February. Please see Ms. Spaulding if you need information for ordering. There are also QR codes on posters throughout the school to make ordering easier. Shop local at Lynx Clothing and Shoes. Lynx offers a wide variety of clothing. Looking for a nice outfit for the night? Lynx has it. Need a nice pair of shoes to go with it? Lynx has it. Lynx doesn't just offer nice clothes, though. They also provide all your local sports team gear. Shop for Salem, Eastern, or West Washington merchandise. Is your child missing any sports gear for his or her game? Lynx has it. With the wide selection and stylish and comfortable clothing and shoes, all your sports gear and equipment needs, along with the reasonable prices and a central location in the heart of downtown Salem, Indiana, there is no reason you shouldn't stop by and shop at Lynx Clothing and Shoes. Let's get into the Sports Minute from the Hoosier Upland Sports Desk. I'm your host, Maggie Gibson. This past week, the Lions wrestling team was at the Mid-Southern Conference meet. Braden Walter placed third in the 113 weight class. Braxton Backus placed third in the 120. Waylon Foster placed third in the 126 weight class. Harley Shockey placed second in the 132 weight class. Jenna Morgan placed third in the 138. Evan Bowling placed second in the 157. Brandon Corwell placed second in the 165 weight class. Brady Briscoe placed third in the 175 weight class. Noah Dalton is your conference champion in 215 weight class. And Ty Benham placed fourth in the 285 weight class. Salem placed third overall as a team in the MSC. Into boys basketball. Last week, they faced up against North Harrison at home, but lost 68-56. to The Lions will be playing tonight at home against Austin and again tomorrow at East Washington. Girls basketball played at Mitchell this past weekend and walked away with a 43-34 win. They played against Austin yesterday. This was also senior night. The seven seniors were recognized for their past four years of hard work. Girls basketball sectional will take place next week. The girls drew the bye, playing the winner of the North Harrison-Madison game on Friday. The results of that game will be featured next show. That's about it for me at the Hoosier Upland Sports Desk. We'll be back with the closing of our show and the anchors after this short commercial break. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Thank you for tuning in to The Salem Show from the Washington County Community Foundation Studios. This concludes our second episode of Season 12 of The Salem Show. As the show runs down, we would like to remind everyone watching to like and subscribe to our YouTube account and streaming channels. Also, don't forget to check out our other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. On these apps, you can view an array of videos and updates about our Salem Lions News Network. Let's not forget about our radio station, 700 Roar Radio. You can find it online at live365.com or on Roku. Content for the Rural Radio is added daily, including the 411. And with that, we will see you next time, Lion Nation. Peace out, SHS. Also, don't forget about our other social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Aren't you on TikTok a lot? No, you got to go with it. I couldn't because, one, I messed up the platforms anyway. I was at platforms. Eleni. You can just have this one. Oh, bad. Ew. Ew. That was terrible. Holy. Weak weather. <laughs>